It's another gorgeous day out here at the range. And what we're going to do today is zero in my new AR-15 at 25 meters, which is about 27 yards. Now, some key things to remember when zeroing an AR-15 is you need to start off with a mechanically zeroed rifle. A mechanically zeroed rifle means the rear sight is perfectly in the center position. You're using your long range aperture to zero the rifle. That is if you're using A2 sights. And you want to make sure the base of your front sight post is flush with your front sight post housing. You want to make sure all that's done and you want to start off with a mechanically zeroed rifle before you try and actually do a battlefield zero. This is the 25 meter standard battle zero, which will get you uh, uh, pretty much point of aim, point of impact, with a little bit of a variance all the way out to 300, uh, 300 meters. Then after that, you'll have to start using your elevation clicks on your A2 sight housing if you have one. Or if you have something like a Maytech, you'll have to go ahead and select the appropriate range. So, there's my target out there. Sitting at roughly 27 yards. Using the high-vis target again. And basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fire off three rounds. Now, there's been a lot of discussion lately on three rounds versus five rounds. I'll tell you how the Air Force and the Army does it. When you're sighting in, we use three rounds. And that's just because the rifle is an accurate rifle and three rounds is the minimum round you need to determine point of aim versus point of impact and to determine the fundamentals of the shooter, uh, whether or not that shooter is actually paying attention to fundamentals. Now, typically, the best thing to do is a five-round group, but in this case, with an AR, I do not believe it's needed. Now, if you've never shot an AR before, you may want to go ahead and do five rounds at a time, so that way you can see if you're paying attention to proper trigger, uh, you know, trigger squeeze, shooting, breathing, all that good stuff, all your basic fundamentals. But, for purposes here, I'm going to use a three-round. That's because I'm very confident in my skills behind the rifle, and I know the rifle itself is accurate. If you try this with something like a uh, Mini-14 or an AK or some other type of rifle, especially at farther distances, what you may encounter is you're going to be chasing your groups around if you use a three-round group. At 25 meters, I don't need to worry about that so much with this rifle. So what I'll do is I'll get started. The biggest thing to remember is to really take your time. Don't wait until the range is shut down in 10 minutes to try and sight in your rifle real quick. Make sure you have a lot of allotted time to do so and take your time with it. This is not the time to be fast and uber tactical with that rifle. Some people like to brag, hey, I can sight in my rifle in six rounds and I can do it in two minutes. Uh, that doesn't matter. This is probably one of the most important things you can do with your rifle after you purchase it. Get it sighted in. That way you know it's on, do it correctly, then after that you can bump fire and do whatever you want all day long. At least you'll know that your rifle is sighted in. So we'll go ahead and get started. I'm going to put three rounds down range, and then we'll go and see what my uh, point of impact is versus uh, point of aim. Oh, and just a mental note for you guys. If you're new to this, always remember, no matter where your rifle is hitting, always aim at the center of the target. I've actually seen people, um, they'll aim at the center of the target and their shots will be, let's say, to the left. The next time, they aim to the left. I don't know why they do that, but some people do that. You're always aiming at the center of the target and you're adjusting your shots to match up with your aim. So just remember that for you new guys out there.
muzzle brake on this rifle. Really not much recoil. All right, let's take a look real quick. As you can see, there's my three shot group right there. This is at the size of my thumb for reference. So there's my three shot group. So what that tells me is I need to go to the right slightly because what you're doing, when you look at this three shot group, look at the center of the group. Look at the center of the group right here. So that tells me I'm a little bit off to the left, so I need to move to the right a little bit. And I also need to come up just a little bit. So, what I'll do is I'll show you real quick how I'm going to adjust while doing that. And by the way, I'm using PMC 223 uh, 55 grain ammunition. Just your basic stuff. Alright, first thing I'm going to worry about is my elevation. Hopefully you can see this. Now my elevation, basically the rule of thumb is the more your front sight post goes in to the front sight post assembly, that's going to cause your barrel to go up. So I need to uh, screw this in farther clockwise. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the tip of my bullet right here, push in on the detent, and this is a lot easier if you do have a uh, front sight post tool, but I didn't bring mine today, so oh well. So it's kind of a pain to do with a round butt. It's the way we do it in the Air Force and the Army. So move that up a little bit. Uh, we'll try it now. I just went a couple clicks to see how that does. Actually, let's do uh, two more clicks because that was quite a bit. Let's do at least two more clicks on the front sight post to get it up. Okay, let's try that. Now, I was a little bit to the left. You saw my shot group was a little bit to the left. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to adjust my rear sight here to the right. So let's go, uh, let's go about uh, four clicks. Let's see what four clicks will do. All right, that's out of the way. What I'll do is load up three more rounds and we'll see how she does. Now you notice it's already been about nine minutes uh, since I started this. And you can see I'm not rushing myself. I'm not rushing myself, I'm taking my time. There's no need for me to rush myself. I'm the only one out here as usual, and that's because I come during off times. People ask me, why are you always out here by yourself? Well, I don't come out here when everybody else comes out here. All right, let's do three more.
All right, she's clear. Let's go take another look. There you go. I bobbled one of these rounds, you can see right there. But the other two are right in. So what I'm gonna do now, is you can see this three shot group is pretty damn close to being directly in center. But I think I bobbled them. So here's what I'm gonna do. Now I'm going to confirm. What I'm gonna do is now that my rifle seems to be pretty well zeroed for the most part, I'm now going to load five rounds, and I'm going to confirm that zero. And the reason I'm doing that is because, well, you saw those two rounds were right on target. The other round was a little bit low. That could have been me, or maybe uh, those two rounds that went in target, maybe they were just lucky. So, now I'm going to load five rounds, just to confirm that zero. And if they all fall in where they need to be, then I'll be good to go. By the way, I'm rather pleased with how this rifle is built. Uh, I've run into AR-15s before that took a lot of adjustment. And this, as you can see, took very minimal adjustment. So I'm rather pleased with how this thing is running so far. All right. All right, we're going for five rounds. Again, take your time with it. Always take your time. That was pretty boring to watch, wasn't it? Well, that's the whole point behind sighting in a rifle. You are not shooting fast. So let's see how those five rounds did. KNS precision front sight post, it's not flat. So it has a point. And the point of it is right there. So that tells me my rounds are right at that point. That's where I need to be. So there you go, the rifle sighted in. 
let's see now we're sitting at 16 minutes and this is probably one of my more boring videos that I've made so I apologize if you're uh, bored with it hopefully you were just had it on in the background but uh, there it is some key things to remember take your time with the rifle do not rush you saw that I didn't rush don't rush now my rifle is zeroed in at a 25 meter zero uh, later on I may do a video on the 50 slash 200 zero we'll see but right now I'll stick with the 25 so there it is hope you guys enjoyed it hope you learned from it ask as many questions as you can if I missed something feel free to annotate uh, you know leave a comment and I'll try and throw up what I missed on annotations and whatnot so thanks a lot for watching